Okay, so in this video, we're going to create uh, some summarized uh, output using the summary uh, tables option and the uh, summary table wizard option. <clears throat> so uh, first things first, we have our data set here. Uh, it's an employee uh, data set with several several attributes, uh, including the gender, uh, the department they do, they work in, uh, the state in which they work in. And so <clears throat> what we're going to kind of do is just kind of kind of put a little uh, report together, if you will, with some of the statistics that we want. <clears throat> so we can find what we want under the describe menu. So we could describe, and first we're going to do summary tables. <clears throat> so for this, we're interested in, to, to, in our uh, salary as our analysis variable. So we can click this, move it over to analysis variable. And for this exercise, we want to kind of uh, break it up by department as well as uh, job title. So these will be our classification variables. And then job title. And also, we kind of want to break up uh, each uh, output, if you will, into a, um, well, by a state, so kind of like sort it by state. So for this, we do this uh, under the pages, so each state will have its own page of uh, output. <clears throat> Next, we click on the uh, summary tables on the left hand side. And this is where we can uh, organize and rearrange uh, pretty much the, how, however we, we, we want our uh, table to look like. Um, so for our column, our main column, we're interested in salary, so it's going to be over here. So we just click salary, drag it over here, one of these little boxes. I know it's rather confusing, but when you get the hang of it, you'll, you'll understand it relatively quickly. And so by default, it has uh, it will show the number of observations uh, for salary under that specific uh, uh, job title, uh, but we don't want that. We want to see the mean so we can click over here under available statistics we can click mean and just drag <clears throat> okay so we want to first organize this by uh, the department okay and then from there the job title within each department so we can just move it right here and so notice we have the main group department and then subgroups of of the uh, job title okay And we can click run. Oop, we actually have a total in there. We don't need that. <clears throat> we don't need a total, so we can just get rid of this. So we can just drag it out of there. And also, let's format salary. So we can right click on salary and go to the data value of properties. <clears throat> so we click on the format tab, and then we can choose the format in which we want the salary to be represented. So for this is do uh, dollar XWD. This just gives us dollar signs, dots, and commas. Push OK, rerun. Okay, so now you see our dollar or dollar a uh, salary is uh, kind of represented in a more more formal uh, format. Um, so if you look up here, we have our first state is California, and we have everything broken up uh, by department, and then from there. Uh, by job title, and then we have the mean salary. So for California, this is the first table. And we scroll down. Next, we have Florida. Uh, scroll up. So we have Florida right here, same thing, broken up by uh, the department and the job title, as well as, as well as the mean salary. And we come down to our last table, and we have Pennsylvania. And we have the same thing here. Okay, so that's using the uh, summary tables, and now we can do pretty much the same thing <clears throat> with the uh, summary uh, uh, tables wizard. So we can go back to our original data set, click describe, and this time click summary tables wizard. Okay, so once again, our analysis variable will be the uh, Salary variable, so we can click this. Uh, the statistic by default that will be represented or that will be presented um, is the uh, the sum of the salaries, but we don't want that. We want the average, so we can just click the drop down, click on average, and we can leave everything uh, default. Uh, down here, we can actually choose the uh, format that we want, so let's give it a dollar format. Go to currency, click our format, click OK. 
Let's click next. <clears throat> and so our classification variables will be our rows. So we come over here to rows. And once again, we want department and job title. And if you look over here on the right, it looks exactly uh, what it look, the, the way it was set up under the uh, summary tables option. And then we do the same thing with pages. We want a page of output for every state. We can go to more options. We can kind of customize this the way we want. So we go to next. <clears throat> so we don't need a total here, so we can get rid of all this. So we just go to none, none, and then we don't have total, so we don't need a label for it, so we can just get rid of that. Click next, finish. Okay, it looks a little different, but the, uh, the output's the same. So once again, we have California first, and everything's broken up by department and job title. And then we go to Florida. Same thing. And our last state. And everything's kind of <clears throat> looks pretty much the same as the uh, uh, the previous output using the uh, summary summary tables. So this is a quick uh, quick way to get some kind of a summarized uh, output.